So, <coughs> hello friends. In this video, I am going to make a proper one 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 circle. The the in the previous uh, I think one of the like my videos I make I made the one one zero uh, titanium oxide one 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 zero surface uh, of rutile I think. And if I correctly remember, so now I'm making the copper one 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 surface uh, using the boundary method. So let's first we like we have to first open a file and, and then we have to increase the boundary. So this video I want to like uh, I want to make it short, so I'm doing it very uh, in a very fast manner uh, so that uh, I can uh, do it. For appropriate time because timing is very big issue in making this kind of video. And so, so first you have to create a four by four boundary, keeping the basis vector of the same, and you can check it. So unit cell is there. You check it. So unit cell is there. So now let's uh, do one thing. And uh, yes, we can do. And we have to like uh, then we have to go to edit. We have to create lattice frame. The first thing we have to create is uh, I don't want green. I want uh, I don't want blue. I want green actually, and that should be light so that I don't get green. And then now this one, this is one. Let's make it better. One atom. Okay, so I next to one. Uh, now we have to see for the next periodic image if you can see. So it is just one, two, and three. So you, this and this. So this layer, this layer, this uh, almost period, these layers are periodic. So we have to next, we have to just add three because it's three uh, copper distance away. So, okay. So now third uh, means. Uh, the second one 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 surface we have created. Now, next we have to find a perpendicular plane for this. So, if I correctly remember, I think one zero minus one is the perpendicular to this plane. Okay, so I put something down. Add. So now we have to add more. So let's make it zero minus one. Let's make it uh, light pink. Not light pink. Make it light pink. Then let's see. And I think we can shift it to zero. Okay. okay. The next plane, if we want to. Again, new and just one we can do. Okay, one. Okay, so now I want to rotate it. Okay, now this is perfect. We have to just delete atoms. And just let me go. Yes, this is atom. Because this green plane is actually a 1 1 1 surface and and the other one is yes. Okay. This is very good. I think. So now we have to delete atom. We have to delete atom. We have to delete atom. Okay. So let's delete atom. We have to delete those atoms. Just about that. Okay. 
so maybe my rotation this rotation button is not working in this video and don't want to again do it so now we have to go to disk and we have to remove those atoms also okay now again we have to delete okay now we have to delete these atoms i hope another atom is not deleted now we have to again okay now we have to select a unit cell so i am selecting this as a unit cell my unit cell because we want this unit cell and because it contain one 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 zero surface one 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 surface not one one zero surface so let's uh, delete those atom and then we can delete those atom okay good now we can remove this plane very like why we do this plane because now i have selected this disk structure so why just need okay now uh, now what we can do is we can achieve okay just wait just drag it yes now we have to find out the coordinates of okay just i have to use this screenshot to show okay, i have to do it manually yes so and so this is your origin you have to set this as a origin so i am just naming it as o so these coordinates you want in fact y and z so this is your first I mean this is the coordinates for which now next this is your a means you have to take the coordinates of this then you have to take the coordinates of b similarly and then you have to take the coordinates of c so you have four coordinates if you select it so let me do it so i have to select so you can use this coordinates like you have to just select at the center so you will get one coordinate then similar this coordinates you can write it here and similarly you can write it for here uh, for a you can use this atom oh my god a then for similarly then for b then for c now if you just write all the coordinates so you will get this kind of um, let me see, your origin will be at the disk and then uh, this kind of origin means this kind of uh, matrix you will get and it might be different i am not saying that it should be exactly same but yes transformation matrix should be same means whether the coordinates that you are taking it should be like this so you will get this transformation called matrix and with this transformation matrix what you have to do is you have to go to original structure and you have to just because i need so i will just slightly so you can go to edit bond then unit cell then transform so my english is not very good but i am trying my level best to communicate and now 0.5 let's make it minus 1.0 similarly 0 1 minus 1 good now next is again minus 1 and 0.5 and this is 0.5 so let's start okay uh okay so apply so let's see what is happening oh so if you yes okay slightly yes okay 
Okay, so this is exactly the same as we have. It is not same actually. Okay, this is same. Let me again go there. This is not the same. Yes, we have this problem. And if data is necessary, uh, oh, I might have. Okay. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 oh I forgot the minus 0.5 okay our ah, okay. okay now you can see is it it is exactly the same as the okay yes now we can see it is exactly same as the previous okay, because my rotation button is not working so i can say this okay so let's uh, this is exactly the same as this one if you see it is not in plane maybe so let's try to bring it into the plane common length from the plane okay so i hope you can see this is exactly the same and uh, yes i think i have made the structure correctly and if anybody yes now you can see yes now it is much appropriate so we have five atoms yes five atoms and then two atoms at the third one yes so this is exactly the same if we if you view in this direction so let's allow view we ah, yes now we can see let's view alone a yes now is exactly now you can see okay it is exactly same as this now if we just go to boundary and just type 4 into 4 into 4 so you can see the surface of copper one moment because in a smaller system you cannot check it okay so this surface this surface is actually a proper one moment. So better if I don't add it to means add z direction. Okay. If I don't add any z direction, then I think it is used more properly. Okay. Yes. So now see, this is actually our one. This surface. Okay. Let me do. Let me show it by again taking this. So. So this is our system. So if, uh, if I can make it by pen, so this is actually my one 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 surface of copper. So I hope I try to do it in a more appropriate way. I could record this session once again, but I don't want. Uh, let me just have it. I will just give you the transformation matrix. So with copper SSA file, you have to just type this transformation matrix and you can create your one on one surface. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching this video. And by creating this video, I am also learning and I am also explaining to others and others who can get something from my video. Please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.